people do it either. Like, it's so stupid. I feel like, okay, I don't know why, but I feel like if I ever, like, did that, like, if I wasn't, like, how I am and I actually did that type of stuff, like, hated on people, I feel like my life would just be so dark. If it would you be know? so difficult. Be like, Everyone's just hating on you for no reason because, like, you're such a bully and stuff and you have no friends or anything like that. I just feel like their life is just depressing. Yeah. Because I don't feel like someone who's happy would waste their time doing that. Like, you are not time happy to do that. you are doing that. But let me ask you something. It's so easy to comment, hate things or bad things in, in the phone, not in the face. Do you have any... Uh, anything happened to you in real life that someone say in your face that she hate you or she doesn't like you? No, thank you. That's what happened. That's what happened. They have a lot of power or they think they have the power behind this. And but in your face, they never do it. And it's usually the accounts that literally don't have any followers or like not even a profile picture of themselves. Because they don't show their faces. Yeah. Let's gonna move to another thing. Self-confident because they hate, they're gonna hate no matter what you do. They're gonna hate you because yeah. they are not happy with their own life. So it's nothing that we can do about that. Say you change what you're doing because someone else hates it, but then the people who don't hate the thing that you're doing first will hate the thing that you're doing. So you have to do what made you happy, and that's it. That's the only way to go in life because you're gonna try to please everybody. Not everybody's gonna think the same about you. So please yourself, do whatever made you happy. Don't do bad thing to anybody and you're gonna be happy in life i don't think it's a big deal if you are doing what you love okay i post um sister forever 2016 and you have some questions does it take a lot of work to get yourself out of bed yes really and i feel like yes me yes when in the morning to go to school yes oh my gosh okay so i'm on my way to about 7 30 and i'm like okay 20 more minutes and you're gonna get up and then I fall asleep, and then I wake up at like 8.40 when I leave at 9 o'clock. Okay, you better, house. you go to bed too late. No, it's not even that, because when I went to bed really early, I still woke up even... But why? Because you don't feel happy to go to school? I don't think anyone I don't think does. It, yeah, I don't think anyone does, but it's just like, it's just hard. But for you, it's hard to get out of bed? I mean, I just like, get out. So, like, I also don't like, don't even yell at me, so I just get out. Okay. So, it isn't, it's not hard. Sometimes I just sit there and just look. Yeah, and I feel like everyone knows that. Yeah, it's not it's not easy to get out of bed because we're not a morning person, but it's not like I don't know. That's for you, it's not that hard, but for Kaylee, yes. Body shaming, how to deal with it? Okay, it. Mm, I don't understand why people do it because it's not hard. I mean, <laughs> it's not easy to just change that quick. I don't understand why people like hate on people's actual looks. Like, if you. How do you explain this? Okay. I don't know, try to do your best because I don't know what you have in mind. So if like <laughs> if somebody was to change something about themselves, you think they would do it, but obviously you can't. So Not all the time you can't. Obviously you just you just can't. Because so even like, about weight, some people are sick and they gain weight because of that. Yeah. Or hormonal and all of that. And just the way they look, like their facial features, like right? but that's you not their choice. Yes. Exactly. I mean it's like for surgery, but why would you do that? Exactly, I went to surgery seven years ago. I did that was seven years ago? I know, 2013. And I did my boots. Seven no. years ago? Yeah, but that wasn't because of body shame, that was just because you wanted to do and it. No, I, I, I was thinking about it. You had I, no point to. Exactly, I just did it because I don't have a reason. I just she did was it. Bored, I, guess. I was I bored and I did it, and now I regret it. I was happy how they look in those seven years, but now I hear a lot of Sickness, that's how you say? Like, you can get sick from it. And I don't want it anymore. And that's why I'm gonna have surgery to remove them, to take Wait, it. Wait, when out. you were like really, really skinny, is that before you got boobs? I was skinny when I had boobs. In my lowers, the hundred and so you think, do you think that's what like made you gain weight? Or like no, nothing has to do with that. I was focusing on YouTube and I I'm, I didn't think about myself on eating healthy and all of that. Okay, well, my surgery is about this. I did it seven years ago, and now I'm gonna have it removed, and I'm gonna have my normal boots. I don't want any plastic inside my body. It's not actual plastic, is it? It is silicone, and you can have a lot of problem, medical problem with them. So I would like to be healthy for myself, for my family, for my daughter, for my grandkid, whatever. I don't want to change it every 10 years. That's what you should do. Change it every 10 years. Imagine, in three years I have to change it. Then in 10 more years, I'm going to be how, how old? I'm going to be 47 and then 57. And I don't want to do that. So I decided to take them out 
and I have my surgery really, really soon. So I'm gonna be vlogging everything for you guys. So go to Sister Forever blog and you're gonna like see the gonna before, make... and the after, and the middle, everything. I feel like they're gonna make you look skinnier. Yeah, because now uh, I think I'm double D or something like that. I don't really know. And the doctor told me I went yesterday and I'm gonna be B. A B? That's me. Uh huh. It's gonna be really small. I'm just saying. Maybe A. Smaller than yours. Mom. By the I way, I remember you like. There's that. nothing wrong with getting plastic surgery and anything. No, that's no. your choice. But doing it be just careful. because someone else did it, like said something about it, and like just made you feel self-conscious. I feel true. like people. Okay, there's like two types of people who get plastic surgery. The ones who've been waiting their whole life. Like they have that had this insecurity for like forever, and they just want to finally get it like change. And, and I really want a nose job so bad. Like, yes, I, I was do. thinking about. But oh, you have your nose perfect. No, I, I always just do this. Yeah, that makes it look worse. No, I want it like. Yeah, your nose is perfect. You want really? a perky nose? I literally, I, like yours. Like I, I want hate it perky. No, it's I love it. I hate it. The same it. thing, and you think it's ugly, and you think it's pretty. Mine is so yours big. Yours is not though. even weird. No, I like, like literally, I don't. No, Kate, your nose is perfect for your face.